Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Well, um, going from some good and fuckery to uh, what a lot of people in society do deem as fuckery. Um, another clip, um, I was watching an, uh, one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube because he's funny as hell. But uh, he started making some points on a, a very common theme that comes up a lot in hip hop and in the black community. And uh, yeah, I wanted y'all to listen to it and then uh, get some thoughts on it. And in the car, nigga, you sell dope and I don't, and you got dope on you. And it's a question of who dope this is. I'm willing to say that's his dope to be here for this day. Uh, I want it to be better, homie. So in order to be better, if we're in a situation, homie, we got to get this shit straight. But you be saying the police ass. Uh, well, well, uh, I'm a citizen now, so I'm a police ass nigga. See, <laughs> now I'm grown, I'm 40. I can't see being in jail at 50 for nothing. No, no, mm-hmm. man, I tell on everybody not to go to jail. Right now, are you serious? Man, I'm 44 years old. You don't let niggas out no more soon. When niggas go to jail now, you come home later. No, no, uh, man, yeah, I don't tell on anybody. You come home so later. Behind, quote unquote, setting the record straight is that you don't want to be in jail at 50. I ain't going to be. What are your thoughts on snitching in general? Um, I would say his situation, since he's not, he considered himself a citizen or whatever, and he's not in that life or whatever, that's where it gets iffy, I, I would say. I, 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 I tell you, I can't really expect, like, you should expect who you're you should expect things from the people you're around or whatever you shouldn't be in a situation if you know you're that like that you shouldn't be hanging around somebody selling dope in it to even put yourself in a position where you're going to have to snitch like I, that's just how I feel about it uh, like I think at at certain times, like like those hypotheticals, would you snitch if you were this and this? See, what's the probability of me being in that situation in the first place? Because if I'm a if I'm a law abiding citizen, I am not going to be around a person that I think okay. um, is selling anything in general. Uh, I'm pretty much now if I'm around a person. And I know for a fact that they're doing that or whatever. I'm. I feel like I just. Uh, I'm along with that. I'm not gonna say. Uh, say it was his. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say it was mine. I'm not gonna say anything. That's real. That's real though. That's real. That's real. Bleed the fifth. Like, come on. Like, I all know. they're gonna do is determine. All he's going to do, well, he ain't saying nothing. He ain't saying something, you know. Shoot, I just go with it. Because I knew for a fact that the person I was with probably had that on him. Or he do stuff like that. It's a risk. In general, you know the people. Like, especially at this day and age, if you like younger or whatever, and you 20 and this, that, and the third, I could see you being naive. But at this day and age, you know who you're going to be around. That's real. You do now. Well. I'm conflicted on this topic a little bit. Okay. Um, the scenario he gave about two individuals in the car with drugs, one person got another person don't. Um, if I'm in the car with somebody and they got some shit, if I trust you enough, you get in my car. We both know if something happened, that's your shit, and you gonna take your shit. So. I'm not putting myself mm-hmm. in a situation where you feel me like, and those that surround me with should respect me enough not to put me in that type of situation either. 
real. And if that type of person is around me, you feel me that doesn't respect me enough, that's my that's my fault again, because the responsibility falls on me about who I surround myself with. So put you in situations. Do I believe that if you live that street life snitching, it should be against the moral code? I was raised up where, yeah, you do the crime, yeah. you do the time. Like, it is what it is, but I was also raised you do your dirt or by your lonely. So you have nobody to snitch on, you feel me, or, or anybody snitch on you. You're doing dirt by yourself. You keep your mouth closed. That's just it. You got to have proof. Well, I did that some shit. You got me your camera. You see me do it? Nope. Oh, well. And when you get in these groups, that's where loyalty comes. But we all, we all know there's no loyalty among thieves. So snitching comes from the territory. So if you get in the game, you got to know at some point, one out, of, one out of the four people in your crew, when, when pressure comes, they're going to fall. Buckley. You feel me? Um, as Charleston White says, you feel me? Like, he's snitching on everything moving. Like, he telling, telling, telling. And he got some good points as far as what he be like. Um, is these murderers out here, the people championing the, champion these murderers, and we, we holding them to be heroes in the, in the community and shit. Yeah, I can understand that shit. But Neither will I'll applaud anybody going to prison. You feel me? Like I can't applaud mm-hmm. that. Because like, mm, I mean, I just can't that's, applaud. That's but my thing about time, right? justice. Know. Justice, I do believe in justice. So I do believe the criminal justice system should work, even though it, it don't correctly all the time. Sometimes it does work correctly, sometimes it don't. We all know that. Um, my part in it, I ain't going to play no part in it. Um, I've had to go to court before. Um, I've been put in situations where I was alleged to be involved in shit where motherfuckers know I won't involved in, but I damn sure know the motherfucker who did it won't won't say I wasn't won't involved in it. So I had to how you I recuse myself out of that situation because you're not going to put me and my family at no detriment because of your dumb ass action. Nah, sorry. Now, me in my former life, when I was doing what I was, I was doing, I was a closed mouth individual. There was no way you gonna get anything from me because I mean, I must have accountability for the full situation I'm in. If you got me, you got me. That's it. Whoever was with me, if you didn't get them, you just didn't get them. Been plenty of times I've been in the back of the police car. Who you with? I'm, me. Shit, that's the only person I can be accountable for is me. Whoever's well, with me, you ain't got him, you ain't got him. I mean, I'm, I don't know if it makes you like. But doing that Charleston route, I just can't get down with that 100%. I, that's my thing about Charleston. It's like, all right, some of the things I, I can understand why you say that, but it seems like he's on a whole snitching wave or whatever like it's like all right some stuff is common sense that you're saying i understand that or whatever but like you look like you're on a way to lock niggas up period i don't see you say anything about white people okay i do see you said something about you know snitching like going to jobs just to snitch on them and and sue them or whatever I've I seen that or whatever, but it just seems like every time I see Charleston or whatever, like it's the same point, and he's just I don't know. I mean, I just feel like he's benefiting off of nigga shit. Like, the, it's the like, I, like I don't see the point in him. Like, I don't see his end goal or whatever. Okay. The only okay. thing I see it's is scary. like speculation and and just getting my name out because I really don't know who he is to tell you the truth I don't even see how I don't even know how he has any significance other than he's the new he's like a new social media influencer or some shit nah I don't want to say influencer but just another person I've been seeing on social media and videos content cloud creator. chase the making video talking to everybody cloud chase man Right. I don't, oh, get it. I don't get the popularity behind it. I mean, like, like we all say, he got some good points, but like most motherfuckers with good points, you got a lot of bullshit behind that. And it, it, it seems like the bullshit is like an avalanche over top of the, the few good points he do make. 
Like his clout chasing overtakes his persona of trying to make actual good change. Like if that's what you want to do is make good change, stick to that lane, man. You don't need all that other shit. You only be showing guns and taunting rappers and shit like that for what? Like you putting yourself in harm's way and, and clout chasing and damaging your real true message. Like you want to stand for snitching, just stand on that shit. There's it, other ways to get your point out there. Like you want to make the whole hip hop community or everybody you deem to be negative your enemy. You're gonna have a lot of enemies, and it, it, it it's easier to travel in peace than it is to travel with negativity. You on mute, kid. That's why the hell everybody kept talking over me. Y'all couldn't hear what the fuck I was saying at first, but okay. Mm-hmm. Well, what I was going to say is I'm going to come at this two ways. First of all, I ain't about to defend Charleston White because he ain't my homie, but y'all did ask who he was. So I'll say he is a community activist that used to be a crip when he was a kid, got locked up. Mm-hmm. Um, he had something to do with a murder. I don't know if he was the murderer or he just had something to do with it or he was there or what, but he got locked up or something like that, got out, and now he's like, a community activist and he does like community outreach programs but in the meantime he also like has blown up online for his views on snitching on uh certain rappers and their deaths and all of that stuff that's who he is um but my only point is that i was taking from him is the snitching point because i i was thinking like as a person who used to involve myself in let me, i'll just be honest illegal activities um and have now reformed at the place I am in my life, I'm snitching on everybody too. You in my pool, you ain't supposed to be, I'm calling the police. Mm-hmm. You out here acting niggerish on my block, I'm calling the police. Like I'm, I show sure am, I want my community to be safe. Like I understand now if I was still in a criminal setting, no. Shut the fuck up. You, I, I believe in go with the laws of the land. Like, if you in Rome, do as Romans do. If you in America, do as Americans do. But, like, if you in the streets, there's a set of rules and laws that apply there. Follow them there. But if you a regular, everyday citizen, you paying taxes, you going to work every day, coming home, just trying to raise your family and, and your neighborhood getting fucked up by some... Man, call the fucking police. And I don't care if it's on black folk, white folk, Asian folk, uh, Hispanic folk. I don't give a damn who it's on. If I see any color of nigger on my block doing some niggerish shit, excuse me, uh, them niggas out there, go get them. I can't do ignorant shit. You can't. Because I, I look at it like this, man. When I was in the street, whatever happened, I ate it. If I had the ability to try to beat the charge, I tried to beat it, but I ain't never tried to put nobody else under the bus or, hey, man, you got me. But guess what? It was seven more niggas with me. Like, fuck it. If I happen to have gotten caught, then damn it, I just got caught. I didn't run fast enough. I didn't hide well enough. I didn't cover my track, like whatever. But damn it, I know I was wrong. I, I know I, I won't. You ain't catch me for doing nothing. Uh, like you caught me for doing some shit. So, well, shouldn't have been doing some shit. And I truly believe any wrong going to end with wrong. So if you're going to do the crime, then deal with that shit. Whatever come from it, whether that be you get snitched on, whether that be you get shot, you go to jail, you you lose the pack and the, the plug after you, it, whatever that is, you, you done got the gang angry so you got to get dp like whatever you got going on whatever you got going on in the streets go by them street rules deal with that shit and sit on that but if you are living a citizen life and you have cut all ties with street affiliation or you have never had street affiliation man snitch it on up snitch it on up and guess what? While you snitching, I'll get on the other phone and I'll snitch on the other one. The one that's running up the block, you snitch on the one that done failed. I'll snitch on the one that's running. We'll get them together. Uh, that's 
But yeah, I agree. Charleston White crazy as hell. Ain't about, as hell. Ain't about to be out here provoking motherfuckers to try to start beef just because and all that loud shit if I'm out here being a community activist. I think that goes against his mission. Yeah. He's trying to help the community yeah. and you out here perpetuating some violence that you say you against it. Like I, 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 I don't really get the end goal in that, but that's what I'm saying. And I think he funny as shit. Uh that he is. And I feel like he's more of a character than an activist or whatever. Like he's like That's the mascot of an activist. But I um what is it? I well about to say, I feel like I feel like he, he's trying to he, I feel like he's halfway trying to do right or whatever, but he's so he still got that gang culture mentality engraved in him. When you're reincarnated. You, he's what? This nigga Martin Luther King Jr. reincarnated with a new attitude. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't gonna niggas. say that. Fuck these niggas. I want to bring the community together, but at the same oh, time, boondocks. fuck these niggas. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah. Cause uh, cause uh, no, no, yeah, 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 snitch on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a dream, man. We gonna snitch on these niggas, snitch on all these niggas, and then they <laughs> got the sticky mace, they got the chunks in it. I got right up in that motherfucker's face. Charles, Charles's Charles like, mentality is head, like, but, uh, it's like y'all ain't doing right out here. And because y'all ain't doing right and y'all causing violence in the community or whatever, I'm going to talk shit about y'all so I, and start some shit with y'all that might lead to some violence so y'all stop doing violence in the community. That's what Charleston White sounds like. That is about 70% of his rhetoric. You're right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The funny part is these young dumb niggas be taking the fucking bait. Yeah, even with this old ass nigga for nothing, and I ain't even mean old like as in like really old, cause he ain't that much older than me. But you out here beefing with this dude that's that much older than you. He, hmm. he seemed like truth about you. You are a killer. You just mm-hmm. said it in your last three songs and told mm-hmm. us who you killed and on which block. And he, uh, he seemed like what I try to say. You know the old dude at the club, or Which whatever. One? All right, like, is he either he had a shine when he was young, or whatever, and then something happens and he don't got it no more, so he's still looking for it, or he when he was young, he was either headed to that shine or trying to get that shine, and he never got that shine, and now he's trying to find another way to shine. That's the kind of vibe I get from. Or whatever. Like at some point, you felt like you were supposed to be that nigga, and then when you came back out of the situation where you like, if I'm not gonna be that nigga this way, I'm gonna be that nigga this way. But either way, I'm gonna be somebody that's that nigga some kind of way. I can dig it. I can definitely see that. Mm-hmm. But that's all I'm I got to say about Mr. Book. White. I don't give a damn about Charles White. I'm snitching on niggas. Snitching on the Just don't be doing stupid shit around me. You do some dumb shit in my neighborhood. I'm telling on your ass. Cause don't nobody around me do no simple shit like that. We are mm-hmm. citizens. We just working and raising family. Yeah, I feel about it. We are citizens. My, my most thug in life is a regular citizen. So I don't have these words. I'm telling on everybody. If you're doing some nigga shit around me, you you ain't supposed to be around me anyway. Me and my niggas get together and chill. I don't, it's I harder don't, to be a regular citizen than uh, some other I, shit sometimes. I try to stay away from all nigger activity regardless of what color the nigger happens to be. Black, white, Asian. Purple. They come in all shapes and sizes. Um, Green. I, I try to stay away from that type of shit. Red. Now, I do involve the police. I do believe in restraining orders. I do believe in the Second Amendment. I do believe in following the law. So, yeah, you break the law around me. I'll call the police on you. I'll let them deal with it the legal way. 
so I can set my ass out of jail. So, but if you do step foot on over. my grass, I will. I will second the amendment your ass. I will second the amendment your ass until I can't no more. It will happen. Mm-hmm. Oh. But we ain't got to use the Second Amendment on these motherfuckers here, y'all.